Hello, this is a guide to selling off the Hungerer for those people who are having difficulty on it. The main thing that should be mentioned is that, as indicated in the readme, she takes a lot of damage per second per round due to an ability called Hunger, which means that ultimately this fight is more about simply keeping yourself alive than actually killing the boss because she will kill herself over time. So as long as you stay out of the acid clouds, as long as you free the victims relatively quickly, and as long as you keep yourself alive at the end, you should be able to win this every single time. To demonstrate this, I'm actually going to do this boss without even attacking her once. Uh, the only damage that's going to be dealt to the boss herself is the hunger damage. So here we go. Kite, 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 the giant spider. As you may notice already, she's down to uh, nearly 70% health, despite the fact that I haven't not even hit her once. You also may have noticed that I set it up so that I wound up right next to the webbed victim as soon as she started siphoning it, which saves you a little time. Obviously, ranged characters can just attack it immediately. But for melee characters, uh, where you position yourself and the boss can make a, a difference and can help theirs. Same thing, I'm kiting her away. She's going to put down the acid cloud in a second here. Now she'll siphon, but I'm going to be handily right next to whichever she chooses here. Yes. Okay, I lied. I apparently just hit her twice on accident. I apologize if you think the entire video is ruined. But on the flip side, I meant that it didn't get on the victim when I meant to, so that actually hurts more. Victim is freed. And we again kite, kite, kite the giant spider, who is at, what, 62% there? Fifty-six percent when siphoning that life. All right, sixty-three percent right now. And that's going to keep dropping by one percent a second until the frenzy, which I think means she will be at fifty-one percent when the frenzy starts. That means I now need to survive a hundred and two seconds, roughly. Obviously, a person actually attacking the boss during the first part will get her lower, meaning they need to survive for less time, which makes this easier. Being able to kill the uh, web victims and free them quickly will also help. That's less healing the boss gets from them. Down to about 20 seconds, uh, 40 seconds left. About 24 seconds. And you can also pretty much just uh, continuously heal at this point outside of the acid. So I'm just going to spam heal potions until I see a web. 3%. That's a web. I should move. And she is dead. Wait, did I just attack her at the end? Looks like he did. Okay, I did an extra 60 damage at the end there, but as you saw, I wasn't exactly in danger of dying. Um, it's just a matter of surviving 
you need to just run around constantly like that, you can. If you want to try to get in some damage while the frenzy damage is low, that is technically much better. And actually attacking her at the beginning is much handier. Uh, if you can shave off three or four rounds of that, then obviously the damage becomes much easier to heal through. But there you go. Uh, defeating Helen off the hunger, I think I probably did less than 100 damage to her during the fight, and that was on accident. And that wasn't a problem with the default character. Thanks for watching.